Hi guys, it's Aaliyah. Welcome back to my channel. So I went out this morning to um, an estate sale and I picked up a couple goodies that I would love to share with you. The first thing is the one that I'm so excited about. <laughs> Let me get it out first. Um, obviously you can't see from here, but it is this little wooden house box. I don't know. And I, I'm sorry, the light's probably a little dark. Um, it's daytime, and for some reason in the daytime, my videos seem to be a lot um, darker. So it's this little house, but when you take off the roof, there you hold all your recipe cards. And there's a lot of recipe cards in here that are blank, which is fine. And then there are some that are actually used. I was going through... Oh. I think I have to go this way. I was going through some of them and she has some things like cut out for magazines and then put on her um on her card and it's so cool. I like I think I want to make copies or maybe just um I don't know, maybe just use them because it's just so neat that somebody took the time and I'm and these are actually looks like they came from oh I know what this is oh my gosh you know what well not that you know what it is maybe you do um P.S. Heartland that was a, a a grocery store chain when I was young it's Purity Supreme in Heartland oh my gosh I gotta show my mom these because that's where we used to shop when I was little um, but I mean, it's just so cool that somebody took the time, cut out her recipes and then glued them onto the paper. I mean, look how old it is because this, you know, kind of pressed onto there. Here's a handwritten one. I mean, that's so super cool. And the neat thing also about this little holder on the, um, chimney, you see the little split there? You'd put the recipe card in it, and then, well, you have the sitting on the counter with the recipe card there. You don't have to, you know, it, it's not in the way. It just stays up. Like, let me just show you. Like that. See? So you have your recipe on the counter, and you can read what you need. So I thought this was super cool, and I loved it. Um... I mean, it's just, it's really, really neat. I'm actually thinking of possibly, and I'll have to think about it, but get the little tabs for it and then put my own index cards in there and put them as like people's contact information. So it's kind of like a fun way to have everybody's information. Right now, I actually, I bought this little, oh, hold on this little journal here and you know it's just right it's not embellished there's no pockets or anything it's just random papers I mean there's some stamping and stuff but I use it to put um all my friends um contact information addresses so like if I'm sending happy mail out or something or you know people that are important to me are in this book which I really like because you know it's a, it's a journal and you know I bought it for that purpose but also using that might be a fun way of doing things too so I'm not sure but I got that I got these I found these in the bottom of this cabinet in the bedroom um, and it looks like um, something from school or I'm not really sure look at it because it has appointment room number or room date please send me please send to me at whenever and there's the teacher and the room number so not exactly sure but I thought they were really cute and I don't know I just picked it up because I could probably use that in um, my journals this was just kind of like a a really it was kind of like one of those things where you pass it you take it and you after the fact you don't know exactly why you took it um, I'm just gonna open it because I'm going to open it anyway. Um, maybe I'll open it. Oh my gosh, why is this so difficult? Goodness. I mean, I saw the picture. The Dick and Jane...
Oh, this comes off, so. I mean, I do like that picture. And maybe I'll make copies of it. And you make journaling cards. It's just a little journal. And, you know, oh, and look, it has like a little pocket back here. Oh, that's really, actually, that's really neat. Oh, you know what? Actually, now that I'm looking at it, and especially with that pocket back here, I might use this in my purse. And I'll make my lists here, and then after, I just rip it out. And then I can keep all the stuff that I need. Because usually on the back of my phone, I have this little, I don't know, just kind of like little fake rubbery pocket that I put stuff in when I'm going to the store. But why not use this? And then this is cute, too. So actually, I'm glad I got it. There we go. So that's for my purse. <laughs> um, oh, these two are not craft related at all, but let me just show you. How cute are these little things? This is like a little reindeer. And this actually, it looks like it hooks to like a window. And then this little koala bear is from Australia. So they must have gone to Australia. I mean, it's so cute. Look at that. So these are obviously for me. They're not going into a journal. There's actually a lot of stuff that I got sort of from for the house because there was a lot of house stuff there rather than journal things like these. Um, they're just coasters, and I always use coasters just in case, you know, um, you don't want, especially in the craft room, if I have a, um, a drink, I don't want it to kind of sweat onto any papers by accident. So got those. This is for my kitchen. Um, I paid, well, it's a dollar, but I paid... 50 cents because everything on the last day is always half off but a lot of times because I go to their sales so many times this one company like I know them by name they know be my name a lot of times they'll group stuff together and just give me a price for it so I think I got actually all of this stuff I just showed for maybe like three dollars or so because um, it's the last day you know and they're trying to get rid of things and I'm a really good customer because I come every week <laughs> so I do get some prizes for that um, and then I got this one, Bedtime Stories. This is, um, this was actually, it was $5, 50% off, but then she just kind of, she didn't want to deal with the change, so she just put it for $2, um, which I was, I was fine with too. And I think this is one, oh goodness, that's kind of ripping everything off. Well, I'll have to do with that later because I don't want it to stick too long. This is, though, for my personal shelf. Um, I will be probably making copies out of it. Um, I like the pages, too. They're really thick pages. They're not thin. Like They're almost like a, a light cardstock. Uh, and copyright... Oh, gosh. I should have looked that up first. Let me just hold it up really close so you can see. Oh. There we go. And right there. My mom was teaching me how to read the Roman numerals because she, she's really good at it. I don't know, maybe going to school, I think they probably just taught them Roman numerals because she every book that I had gotten and she um she looked at it, she told me what year it was. And I forget exactly what she said. But I'll look at that up later. But they just have little um little bedtime stories I mean they're really cute I mean the graphics obviously they're not color oh oh huh well she was in my book kind of reminds me of like a Tim Holtz person let's put that there um yeah I think that it'd be cool to like you know make copies of the pictures uh, shrink them down and turn them into like journaling cards or something but it's really cool and I, a lot of times recently when I've been seeing like older books I just kind of want to save them so that is for my bookshelf then I got this which is really neat um, this is like a register and this is the person's probably house um, but it's, it's cool because he, oh, you know what? I get it now. He was a teacher because I saw lots of like papers and reports and stuff like that, but now it makes sense. So he was probably, um, the teacher of problems of philosophy, maybe. 
Um, and this must be all the students' names. And this is probably the test scores. Wow. Hmm. Must have been a really hard class. I don't see any A's. Very interesting. Um, oh, here we go. Alan Dunham got an A minus. Oh, Bonita Bennett got an A minus. So there's some A's. There's an A, A. It's really neat though. But then the rest of it is blank. So, oh, and there's um, these types of pages but they're all blank pages and how fun would that be to stick into a, a journal so got that and then oh this is something not for crafting but for my table um i just found it in one of their drawers in the kitchen i don't know what it was supposed to be but i kind of like it as a background because i use this that my friend delicia sent me the only problem is if I don't center it just right, it shows all the mess around. This is actually really, really big. So I figure this can also be a nice background too and I can cover more of my mess. You know, like when I don't want to <laughs> stop what I'm doing and clean up, I can just put that down because see under here, I'm working on a project. So I just didn't want to um, clean it up and then bring it all back out. These, again, these are for my house. Um, I use these small, like, these little washcloth rags for cleaning. And the white ones are nice because then after you just bleach them and then use them again. This one, it's kind of dirty. Um, but it's Garfield's. And it's from 1978. And I figure I'll wash it a couple times just to see if it gets it out. But I like to put it on my counter. And when you're putting a hot pan down, you know, you can put it on... On this so I did get that of course you know me anytime I find any types of paper I like to pick it up and this is 200 sheets I mean it looks like it's pretty full because it's all the way to the top and it's you know all that paper um, four dollars but she rounded it down to a dollar which hey you know I know that's a dollar's not half of four, but I appreciate her. So, and you know, I like to use this to print stuff on, you know, whatever. But anytime I find paper that's you that I can use, I always like to pick it up. So I got that. Then I got this tray, and I don't think it will fit all, you know, in the camera. Um, it's plastic, you know, it's just nothing cool or interesting. But what I um what I want to do is a lot of times when I'm working on a project um, and I'm cutting out the ephemera, I have the pages, um, I kind of like have it all over my desk, but my desk is a lot of times it's sort of messy and then I'll lose things or things might go missing. So I'm going to use this tray for every project and I can put the ephemera on here, put the pages, whatever, and that way if I need to move it, I can move it all at one time. So that's the reason why I got that. Um... Then I got two rulers. I don't, again, these, I don't know why I bought these. They're really long. Well, this is 18 inches. The other one is, oh, they're both 18 inch rulers. Um, yeah, I, it was kind of the spur of the moment thing. I was like, oh yeah, rulers. And I mean, I have rulers. I don't know why I'm buying more rulers, but I don't have any long rulers. Though sometimes when I'm cutting material, um, like, for instance, I have a 12-inch ruler, but the material is a lot longer. It's almost like I have to measure it again and put it down. But I guess, you know, with a longer ruler, you can just measure it all at one time and do the cutting that way. And I like this, too, because this one has the metal edge. And then this one here is just metal, period. So I like to use those types of ones when um, I'm using my cutting mat. And then the last thing I got, um, it's craft related only because they're mailers and how many, two, four, six, there's seven of them. So he used one, but I mean, obviously I use these if I'm shipping out anything. So, and I think I pretty much got them for free because she, nobody wants to buy this kind of stuff. And it was just sitting there and I think she just kind of was like, threw it in with it. So, so that is my... Um, little haul from the estate sale that I went to today.
Um, I am currently working on a journal, which is really neat. And it's so, it's very different from what I normally would work on. So I'm kind of liking it. So I'll hopefully be done with that soon. And then I can share with you. And um, I think that's all I have. Let me just look around. That Yeah, that is it. So as always, thank you so much for watching. If you're watching and you're not subscribed, you should really hit the subscribe button because I try to come out with a lot of interesting videos. And of course, I love all your comments and feedbacks. So, um, you know, I do hope you like this video and I will catch you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.